Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up Active Directory Certificate Services on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. So from this product page, simply click on get it now. After that, click on continue. After that, from this page, you want to click on create. And then you would be redirected to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have and choose a resource group by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. After that, give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call this one as ADCS standing for Active Directory Certificate Services. And then the most crucial step, choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that, scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and choose the size of the virtual machine according to your requirements. After that, you want to create credentials for the administrator account. Remember that these are the credentials that we would be using to connect to the RDP connection of our virtual machine. So provide yourself with a username and the respective password. Once you're satisfied with the settings, simply click on review plus create. After that, you need to wait for the validation process to complete. Now once the validation process is done, you want to simply click on this create button right over here. After that, simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using a remote desktop connection. For that, simply click on go to resource. And after that, from this overview page, simply click on connect and choose RDP. After that, simply click on this button that says download RDP file. And once that file is downloaded, simply click on it to open up the RDP connection and then simply choose connect. After that, it is going to prompt you for the credentials. From here, you want to click on more choices and then click on use a different account. And in here, you're going to provide the credentials. And after that, if you're prompted, simply click on yes and wait for the connection to be established. And then you need to wait for the Windows Server to completely load as well. Now once the Windows Server has been completely loaded, this Server Manager is going to open itself. And you can see that I am getting a prompt so click on it and choose Configure Active Directory Certificate Services. Now this is going to open up the Active Directory Certificate Services configuration page. In this configuration page, as you can see that the credentials are already mapped out. So simply click on Next. And then for the role of services, you want to go with the Certification Authority. So click on it and then click on next. Now it is going to ask you to specify the type of your CA. Now what we want to do is that we want to deploy a standalone certification authority. So click that option and then click on next. And then you have a choice between creating a root CA or a subordinate CA. So choose the one that you want to go with and then simply click on next. After that, simply create a new private key. Now for this private key, make sure to not choose the SHA1 because that is being deprecated. So choose anyone else that you like and then simply click on next and then provide a CA name for your certification authority. Now for the certificate database, you can leave it as the default location and then click on next and on the confirmation page, you can see all of the settings that you are going with. Once you are satisfied with the settings, simply click on configure and just like that, you are all done setting up your certificate authority. Now to start handling out certificates, what you can do is that from this server manager, click on tools and choose certification authority and with that your active directory certificate services is all set up now that also brings us to the end of this video now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for azure and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up active directory certificate services and finally if this video has helped you in any way Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.